Good afternoon, everyone. It's me, Malo again with you. Uh, dear students, uh, today at our lesson, we will speak about natural approach. Approaches and methods in language teaching. A child's aim when uh, learning its mother tongue uh, is to speak it fluently. This also applies to a student in a class using the natural approach. The aim is to develop communication skills. Um, for a child, the learning process is subconscious. Uh, it acquires the communication skills not by learning grammatical rules, but step by step by listening and understanding. The natural approach method of acquiring language skills was created by the linguist Tracy D. Terrell and Stephen Krashen in the late 70s of the 20th century and is based on this uh, natural way of uh, picking up a language. A vital prerequisite for understanding the natural approach uh, is the ability to distinguish between learning in the traditional sense and acquiring a language, uh, focusing on uh, instinct instinctiveness uh, as, for example, as child does. Uh, most used in natural approach, uh, reading aloud, question and answer exercise, uh, getting students uh, to self-correct, uh, conversation practice, uh, filling in the blank, uh, no uh, explicit grammar rule applied, and dictation and paragraph writing. Uh, the natural approach is one of the language teaching methods uh, based on the uh, observation and the interpretation of how learners acquire both first and uh, second language in uh, non-formal settings. Krashen and Terrell uh, saw the approach as a traditional approach to language teaching because it is uh, based on the use of language in communicative uh, situations without recourse to the native language. The approach focuses on input comprehension and uh, meaningful communication and uh, puts less emphasis on grammar, uh, teacher monologues, uh, direct repetition and uh, accuracy. Gresham's theories uh, of second language acquisition and uh, uh, his high hypothesis. Uh, acquisition requires meaningful interaction in the target language, natural communication in which speakers are concerned not with the form of their utterances but with the messages they are conveying and understanding. The theory as well as the design and the procedures in the natural approach uh, are based on Krashen's language acquisition theory. The basic principles of Krashen's theory uh, are outlined in his monitor model, uh, model of second language acquisition consisting of five hypotheses. Now, dear students, we will discuss these five hypotheses. So the first one, the acquisition learning hypothesis makes a distinction between acquisition and learning. Gresham defines acquisition as unconscious process uh, that involves the naturalistic development of language proficiency uh, through understanding language and through, uh, through using language for meaningful communication. Learning, on the other hand, is a conscious process in which rules over language are developed. Uh, this process only occurs through formal teaching and cannot lead to acquisition. Second one, according to the monitor hypothesis. The uh, acquired system initiates a speaker's utterances and is responsible for spontaneous language use. The learned system, by contrast, has uh, the function of a monitor or uh, editor that checks and repairs uh, the output of the acquired system. This uh, monitor can either operate post hoc in the form of self-correction or as a last-minute change of plan just before production. Uh, moreover, there are three conditions which have a limited effect on the success of the monitor. Time, a focus on uh, form and correctness, and uh, knowledge of rules. 
The third one, the natural order hypothesis, says that the acquisition of grammatical structures uh, proceeds uh, in a predictable order. This natural order can be found in the first language acquisition as well as in the second language acquisition. The first one, according to the input hypothesis, acquisition, acquire, uh, acquisition occurs when one is exposed to a language that is comprehensible and uh, that contains I plus one. The I stands for the acquirer's current level of proficiency here. Uh, he is able to move to a higher stage by understanding language containing uh, I plus one where plus one stands so for a uh, language uh, which is uh, slightly beyond the acquirer's current level of co uh, competence. And the fifth one, uh, the effective filter hypothesis uh, states that there is an effective filter which can act as a barrier that prevents learners from acquiring la uh, language even uh, when appropriate input is available. Uh, with regard to second language acquisition, uh, effective variables can be attitudes or emotions like motivation, uh, self-confidence, and anxiety. A low effective filter is always desirable because a high effective filter, which can be found, for example, with anxious learner, uh, prevents acquisition from taking place. Uh, the learner's role changes and develops uh, during the natural approach course because uh, there are various stages uh, the learner has to go through. The first stage is to pre-production uh, pre stage where the learner is not forced to re uh, respond orally and is allowed to, DK, uh, allowed to decide on his or her own uh, when uh, to start to, to speak. Uh, the next stage, uh, the early production stage, uh, fosters uh, short answers and the student has to respond to simple questions and uh, to use fixed conversational patterns. Uh, in the speech uh, emergent stage, uh, the use of complex utterances emerges, uh, for example, in uh, role plays or games. The natural approach classroom allocates a uh, central role for the teacher. Uh, he has several important roles. The first role here, the teacher provides a constant flow of comprehensible input in the target language uh, and provides non-linguistic clues. The second role, the teacher has to create a harmonious uh, classroom atmosphere that fosters a low effective filter. Third, the teacher decides on the classroom activities and the tasks regarding group sizes, uh, content, contexts, and materials. Uh, finally, the teacher is responsible uh, to communicate clearly and uh, compellingly to students uh, the assumptions, organizations, uh, and uh, expectations of the method. So dear students, uh, that is all with my presentation about natural approach and I hope you all revise all the material we learned today. So be ready for the next time. Goodbye.